Hey everyone, it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Today is an exciting video. Um, it is going to be my school content, which I haven't done a lot of other than I think my orientation video. I think that's the only thing I've done really school related. But obviously, I am a freshman going into college at the University of Louisville. Um, which if you don't know, that is a public institution in Kentucky, but I just wanted to show you what I have in my school bag. So first off, this is a Margo New York backpack. I found it at TJ Maxx for $32. It was on sale. Um, it was really cute, really simple and sleek. Take that. <laughs> It's not like the most sleek, but I really like it. Um, I wanted black. It's not going to get super gross because it's a darker color, so it won't get like stained or anything. And then also it's a neutral color, so it's going to go with everything. Um, before I show you everything that's inside though, I kind of want to talk about what classes I have and what my schedule looks like. Um, so I actually created like this is a notebook that I made specifically for school. I have all of like my classes written down, my four year plan, every credit I need, what class I need to take to fulfill my graduation requirements. Um, but yeah, so I unfortunately couldn't get a four day week for school. So I do have classes Monday through Friday. Um, I'm taking technically six classes, but two of them are combined in a way, which I'll explain in a minute. So I'm taking Spanish, um, Gen 101, which is basically a requirement for my major. I'm taking Biology 102 and then 104, and that is the kind of combined. So 102 is one of my online classes. I'm taking two of those, and Biology because it's online and it's just the lecture portion, um, I'm taking the lab, which is what the 104 is. So technically they're separate, but they are combined in a way just because the materials match up. I'm then taking English 102, which is also online, my second online class. And then I am taking PHST 200, which is going to fulfill my, I think it was, yes, quantitative reasoning class. Um, I'm not a big math person. I don't love math. So I figured I would take this, I'm pretty sure it's like a data class. And for all these classes, I went through with my professor and they all had really good reviews. So I just kind of wanted to go over that now into the fun stuff. So we'll first start on these two little outer pockets here. Um, let me lower you a bit. So yeah, there's three compartments to this bag. You have your main zip portion um, and then you have two front ones. There's also two side ones for a water bottle, but they're really small and it's not an elastic material, so I won't be able to find a water bottle to fit. But we will start on this left side here, and this is just going to be my little snack area. So inside, I have these. And these are just little fruit strips. Um, they're pomegranate flavored. I've already tried them. They're really good. So I would recommend those. Um, you can get them at Target, super affordable, and they're very portable. Next up in this right compartment area, I just have period supplies along with a Tide stick just because I know I am not the cleanest person, especially if I end up eating on campus. So yeah, this is just like my little emergency kit area. Now onto the main compartment. Um, at the top where the handles are, there is a little button snap closure, so it can open up this way. And then for the main compartment, 
I don't know how well I'll be able to show you. There's what it looks like on the inside. Again, I don't know how well you can see that, but there are um, four sections. So you have a small area in the back for a laptop. You have like your main section and then you have two little front pockets here just to hold smaller things. So we'll start with the laptop, work back to front. Um, if you didn't already, go ahead and go watch my unboxing my MacBook Pro video because that's what this is. Um, this is the MacBook Pro 14 inch. I got a case off of Amazon. It's black. And then, you know, there's that. This is the Julia K. Chris um, free wallpaper, which I love. That's what's in that compartment. And then on to the main section. I went ahead and got two little folders from Target. They were 15 cents each. I didn't think I would have a whole lot of papers just because everything is mainly online now, but just in case I figured I'd get a couple folders. Next up, we have a cute little notebook. I've had this for a while. Again, I got this at TJ Maxx. I think it was $10. I got it a few months ago. It's really cute. Right here it says jot it down and it's black and white with some gold accents along the spine and then on the front. And then it's just regular lined paper inside. Next up, we have my planner, which is going to come into play as far as the color. Um, my color scheme, I don't know if you all do this, but I know I do this. I like to have color scheme for the year. It just makes everything feel more organized, more personal, and more like unique to me. So I have, for my color scheme, obviously black, gold, green, and then some white accents. But yeah, this is my planner. Um, it's really cute. It's really simple. I really like it. It's the brand The Everyday Girl for Day Designer, which you can get at Target. That's where I got this one from. And then just to show you kind of what it looks like. Um, here's this. I don't know how well you can see it. That's just the monthly layout. I'm a little behind on crossing out some days. And then just for example, this is what um, a week would look like. And there's two little sections to it. You have your today portion on the left side and then your to-do portion, which I'm gonna use the to-do portion for my assignments when they're due. So like, let's say I have um, an essay due on, you know, this day, then I'm just going to put it here and then I can cross it out. And then everything else that's not necessarily a due date, but I want to work on, I'll plan on putting it on this side. So that's for the planner. And then what I really like about this is whenever you start a new month, they have like monthly, monthly reviews for your previous month and then a cute little like quote page for the beginning of the month. But there's that planner. The last thing for my main compartment is going to be my pencil pouch. Now, I'm still considering getting a new pencil pouch. I was thinking about it just because this doesn't really fit the color scheme going on here, but I didn't want to buy something unnecessary. So this is one that I've had for a while. It's a little dirty. It needs a bit of a cleaning, but let's take a look inside. Just so you can see really quickly, there's a main, like you have your main section inside and then you have like a little small pocket on the side. So on this small pocket, I have three things. I have just some simple, you know, index cards in case I need them for a class. Um, I have a feeling I'll probably be using a lot of index cards for my Spanish class to help me learn vocabulary. And then I have some translucent self-stick notes um, in case I get a textbook or anything that is not personally mine to keep or if I need to annotate something that is borrowed then I can use these. And then I just have some regular sticky notes again going in with that green 
and black theme. But yeah, that's everything that's in that little side compartment. And then in the main compartment, I really tried to simplify everything that I have. So this is everything. Um, I have a really cute pair of scissors. I don't know if it'll focus. But it just looks like a cute hummingbird. They're gold, they're really small. Obviously not the most functional, but I doubt I'll be using them. Just in case though, I went ahead and packed them anyways, just cause they're so cute. Um, next up, I have a pencil. This is a mechanical pencil. It's gold. It is the brand Poppin 0.7 lead. So there's that. I have a green highlighter. Again, I want to really keep this theme going. Green highlighter, it's the Friction brand, which can be erased. And then I have one of these. If you don't know what this is, this is kind of like a retractable eraser. So you use it how you would, um, kind of like a box cutter. Um, the eraser comes out and then you can just put it back in. And I am keeping this just because my mechanical pencil doesn't have an eraser end and I don't plan on using any like real pencils, like the wooden ones. I prefer mechanical. I think they're way easier to use. So that's what that's for. And then lastly, in my pencil pouch, my favorite item are my pens. These are the Sharpie roller pens. Um, I have three. I have a red, a blue, and then a black. These are my favorite pens to use. That's what I use in my planner and all my journals so far. And they're really nice. Um, here's what they look like. I don't know if it'll focus. Um, but yeah, they're really great. You can get them again at like your Target, Kroger, Meyer, whatever your local grocery store is. That is everything though for this little pencil pouch. And then now onto the little inside pockets. Again, I don't know if you can really see, you can kind of see them here. This is the last item inside my backpack at the moment. It is a calculator. Again, I'm taking kind of like a daily statistics class. And then obviously, you know, science sometimes needs calculator. So this is the Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus CE. There's a graphing calculator. But there's that. Um, obviously, I don't have all of my supplies yet. I don't have any books. I don't know what I need. School hasn't started. I don't have syllabuses yet. But that's everything so far. I do have a couple things outside of my backpack. So I'm just gonna pack all this stuff back up and then I'll show you that. All right, so I went ahead and just packed up the backpack, left everything inside. There are two more items that I do plan on using that I just either won't fit in the backpack that I planned on um, carrying around or leaving in my car and then I have it unpackaged. So firstly, a water bottle. This is the Hydra Peak water bottle. Um, it's a flip straw one, and again, it's green. I already had this before I planned on the color scheme, so it worked out perfect. Unfortunately, it obviously, you know, isn't going to fit inside like a pocket really, unless I stuck inside the main compartment. So I'll probably end up just leaving this in my car or carrying around with me just cause it does have a little handle there, which will be really helpful. And then lastly, I have this really cute bookmark. I haven't unpackaged it yet. It's golden. Um, and I got this from Anthropology. It was on sale. It was like 14 bucks it looks like. And I think it was on sale an additional amount. But that's really cute. Um, I plan on carrying around. Obviously, you know, if I have a textbook, I'll carry that around if I need it. But also a personal book. I really like to read. Um, that is one of the hobbies I enjoy. And I don't know how much free time I'll have, but if I end up, you know, having some free time between classes or like a little study block, 
then that's what I'll end up doing. So that's what this is for. But as far as everything goes, um, I'm probably missing a few things. So please comment down below any items that you think I need, especially if you're an upperclassman in college or you've already graduated. Help me out. I'm a freshman. I don't quite know everything yet, but I am really excited. Um, I still don't know where all my classes are yet. I plan on going up this weekend probably to go look because when you're seeing this it's going to be the Wednesday before school starts. So school starts for me on August 21st. I think this is going to go up on the Wednesday before, hopefully before school starts. <laughs> But yeah, that's everything I have for you. Um, I hope you love this video. Again, please comment anything that you think I need to know or need as a freshman. But I will see you all next time. Like and subscribe to help support me. Have a great day. Bye.